Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to another vlog. It's been over two months since I've uploaded a YouTube video and almost three months since I've filmed. I figured I'd just come on here and catch up because over these past few months, y'all, I've really learned how to do my makeup, at least like a basic routine, like for real, for real. So <laughs> I actually already filmed this weeks ago. You guys will see this part of the video in a couple of days, but the rest of the vlog has been filmed since July. For some reason that footage disappeared, so I said I'll do it again. I'm priming my face first with the Milk Makeup Primer. I'll link all the products that I'm using down in the description box. Since I really know about this stuff, I decided to get a lot of mini products with this makeup, because makeup is really heckin' expensive, and I don't wanna pay full price for something and end up not liking it. So I'm just testing out these little samples to see if I'll be buying these in full sets. So unintentionally, I took a break over the summer from doing any work. And I honestly feel like it has a lot to do with when I taught, I would always get summers off. I mean, I was still doing work for the most part. It wasn't like the regular year, you know? So I think my body naturally was like, oh, it's time to take a break. And I didn't really fight against it because breaks are definitely needed, especially doing this, just because with content, it's easy to get burned out. I just really care about all of you who choose to watch my content and enjoy my content. And I always wanna provide you with quality rather than just putting something out just to put something out. Since I've been gone, I've been doing some traveling and that's pretty much it, just traveling and spending time with my family. I was in San Diego for a graduation back in June and I was gonna vlog that, but I decided not to and to just focus on spending time with my family. I used to live in a really small desert town in California when I was a kid and we would go up to San Diego to visit back in like the early 2000s. And San Diego looks completely different now than it did when I was a kid. I was like, what? what's this? It was nice and I hope that we make this like a traditional thing to do every year. Cause I went with my mom, my sisters and my cousin. You know how you have that one cousin that feels more like a sibling to you? That's how I feel about my cousin. Like she is like a bestie slash sister. So I hope that we continue to all take those family trips together. Cause it's really nice. I'm just spraying some setting spray on my brush to blend out this skin tint. I do really like this skin tint by Nicole. I have the deep two. You guys will also see later on in this vlog that I have been getting into my DIY. I thought it was just with hair, with me loving to like create things, but I'm starting to see that I just really like to create things in general. So I wanna get more into that with like just DIY clothing items and just things around my apartment. I was about to say before I got kind of sidetracked, you guys will see the breastplate that I've been working on for almost a month later on in this vlog. I wore it to Beyonce concert. I'll insert some clips because that was just so amazing. That was my first time seeing her live. <gasps> to literally my entire life. So to see her in person, she's like, she's a great performer and no one can tell me otherwise. I made this breastplate that I've been seeing on TikTok. I just thought it was so nice. And it was a, it, it took trial and error to make, but now that I know how to make it, I think that I could do it again and it would be a lot easier. I made it before I found out the kind of cheat code that people were doing to make, to get that chrome effect mannequin, which I'll talk about that later on in the vlog too. Just ignited the craftiness in me. So I'm also going to be making something for my cousin's baby shower that's coming up this weekend. But my fiance and I, Went to see Beyonce for the first time, right? Our moms are also fans of Beyonce. My mom has been to Beyonce content before, but my soon-to-be mother-in-law, this was her first time seeing Beyonce. And we bought these tickets back in February and we figured since their birthdays are literally both around the concert date for um, 
Beyonce's Atlanta stop that we went to, it just made sense to surprise them with tickets. We took them with us. They went on night one and we went on night two. And that was just a really nice thing to do. Really enjoyed themselves. It was cutting up. Like <laughs> I made a, like a mini vlog on TikTok showing like how my concert weekend was and everything, but I did not go into details of like how a mess my mom and my mother-in-law are. Like they are a mess. They live in Georgia, but they don't live in the Atlanta area. And y'all know, in big cities, you see some things, some out of the ordinary things, things that I'm used to because I spent so much time in Atlanta when I was in school, but they didn't. So we are driving to the venue and my mom is rolling down the window. She has her, where am I? I wish I had my shades, but she had her glasses like this and she is just being so nosy <laughs> and watching everybody and watching things that she should not be watching. We know that the Mercedes-Benz Stadium is, is quite a walk. They thought that it was like right up the street as we're driving closer and of course there's a lot of traffic because it's Atlanta. So <laughs> they're trying to get out of the car. They're like, let us out, we can walk. And we're like, no, like you can't walk yet. Like. Mams, you cannot walk it. It's, it's, it's a lot further than you think that it is. It was funny and we really enjoyed ourselves. And I'm glad that we went to the Atlanta show. We could have went here in Florida to like Tampa or Miami, but I don't know. I feel like it just made sense to go to the Atlanta show. I want to go to another show. Going to her concert, it just made me want to see her again. The funniest thing is like when I got to the concert, I was just in awe. I was like, just smiling, I couldn't, like, sound could not come out of my mouth like this. I was. <laughs> Mouthing the words, like, no sound is coming out. The way I react when I'm excited about something is so different from how most people react to things. I used to feel kind of like bad because I knew that even if I'm like, let's say like if you get me something or surprise me with something, I kind of react in shock and I'm just like, wow. I used to kind of feel like the way that I reacted to surprises or things or people doing kind things for me was disappointing. Like because my reaction wasn't maybe what they would expect it to be. I was making them feel like, oh, they, actually didn't do a good job or I don't actually like it. I've gotten better at explaining to people that, you know, that's just how I am and I don't mean any harm by it. When I was in high school, my teacher pretty much convinced me to like compete in a pageant, a school pageant, and I've never done pageants before at all. I don't even know why they asked me to compete in the pageant, you guys. Like, I was super quiet. People probably knew my face, but nobody knew who I was. I really just kept to myself. So I enrolled in the pageant, and I was a junior at that time. And you guys, I don't know how, but I ended up winning that pageant. I was Miss Such and Such High for whole school. Like, I won a whole pageant. I feel like I'm kind of getting sidetracked. But I'm saying all that to say that like even when I won that pageant, my reaction was not what people thought it would be. When you see people winning a pageant, they're just like ah, jumping up and down and they start crying and it's just like this beautiful reaction. For me, I was like, and it was like such a quiet reaction because I couldn't believe it. I'm sure people were probably wondering like, did she know she was gonna win? Cause she doesn't seem surprised at all. But that's just how I am. I for real used to be insecure about the way that I reacted to accomplishments or gifts or surprises. I'm using the Rare Beauty Blush. This is happy. It's a really pinky blush and I like to put the blush on before I do my under eye concealer because I feel like the blush blends better together with my makeup. There, I'm gonna put it here. Pat it up, pat, 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 pat the blush. I'm just gonna use my blush brush to further move it about because it kind of, I think it spreads a little better than the sponge alone. Y'all might start hearing a storm outside. It's been raining 
every single day it feels like since May. Over these past few months while I've been taking my break, I'm just doing adult things, like taking care of adult responsibilities and it's so expensive. Being an adult is really expensive. I needed some new tires, so I got some new tires. I had to get a root canal done, which I've never had to get a root canal done before. I'm not happy about that. It's like such a new thing for me with my cavities and also my teeth are shifting. I have had straight teeth my entire life, but my teeth grew in straight, no gaps, no issues, no nothing. But then my wisdom teeth became impacted. So they're just pushing on all my other teeth and it's shifting my teeth and I need to get them pulled out, but I'm afraid that if I get my wisdom teeth removed that they're gonna be shifted even more, which means I'm probably gonna have to get like braces or Invisalign or something to straighten my teeth out. It's a possibility, I don't know for sure. And then I'm assuming that like cavities can be hereditary because I've never had cavities either. And all of a sudden I'm getting cavities and I get a freaking root canal. And that stuff it is so expensive. Add in a powder because it sets my face really well. I just turn my camera brightness down. I feel like it was too bright. As far as eyeshadow goes, I've just been putting some on my lid here. I'm just gonna use this as eyeliner, I guess. This will like wing me out a little bit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and do my mascara too. I just do that. Kind of just do the outer corner. Do my bottom lashes. I'm gonna set this. I hope this catch up wasn't too long and that you enjoyed the rest of the vlog. I don't remember if I mentioned it earlier, but I did make part of my outfit for the Beyonce concert. But as far as hair goes, I want to do something different. So I got these bundles. I don't know anything about bundles. I don't even know if this is enough, but I saw this hairstylist on TikTok do this gorgeous low ponytail. Being that I'm pretty good at doing my own hair, I was like, I can just do it. I can watch her video and then just do it on myself rather than paying somebody to do it for me. She says she used 18 inches and 20 inches, so that's what I got. I mentioned it at the beginning of this vlog, but I don't even think I told y'all what I'm doing. So for Beyonce's concert, I want to do chrome breastplate right so i got mannequins off of amazon and this one is like it's a little too tight for me i wish that it came out just like one more inch like i made this one already and i still need to sand it a little more and even it out but like look at it y'all so this is how it fits i'm gonna still finish with it i'm not the biggest fan of how it turned out and I wish it was just like a little bit more realistic in shape. You know, you have to be very, very, very petite to fit something like this. But this one, besides the chest part, these are my exact measurements. This one is about two inches too small and you can tell it doesn't look bad, but you can see my waist hanging out of it. Which means if I use this one, I'll have to do like I did with this one, where I used an iron to kind of stretch the sides out a little more so that it wasn't digging into my sides. I don't know if I want to deal with that. So I feel like I should just use the one that fits me perfectly to make the plate that I'll actually be wearing. The cutting part is the easiest thing to do. What I've been struggling with is getting the colors. I want a chrome breastplate that is reflective like you can look and see your reflection can you see your reflection in this <laughs> all these spray paints that i've been getting is literally just silver and these are practice ones like i tried this one which is supposed to be a dark chrome and as you can see it has shine to it but there's no it's not really reflective and it's more of a charcoal gray i did this one I did a light spray 
and it's just silver again this one oh wait that one has a bit of a reflection but it's still more so silver i think i'm finally going to cut these that way i can go ahead and start painting because the painting process is probably going to take a couple days to do because i'm going to have to allow the base coat to cure and i want to make some tutorials for them i still want to have some footage for the vlog as well happy wednesday y'all i did not vlog yesterday <laughs> i'm here now at like 4 p.m and i just want to know is this not giving vintage Barbie? Now, don't say no because I need it to give vintage Barbie. <laughs> I'm gonna take this down soon because I still wanna be able to wear my rod set. Hopefully the products that I used didn't mess up the hairstyle. I don't think it did, but I just filmed a collab for Flora and Curl and it's Barbie inspired. I can go ahead and talk about it now because by the time you guys see my vlog, I'll have already posted the video. I wanted the hairstyles to be a little messy at the ends, but I did use the curl defining gel to smooth it out a little bit. And then I used the fruit oil to just give my hair extra shine being that this is an old style. I love this oil so much y'all. Let's see how this hair is looking. It should still be fine. There's gonna be a little gel in there from using these products, but that's okay. I just, I enjoy this um, rod set so much that I'm just not ready to let it go yet. Okay, still just fine. I'm surprised that it's still okay, y'all, cause I just did like five hairstyles. Okay. It's definitely more stretched out than it was before because these curls were given super bob and now they I kind of pulled them out a bit but you know that's okay. So this is one of the outfits that I did for the Barbie inspired video. Even though it's a hair video I still wanted to have some Barbie inspired outfits. But here's the thing for the vintage Barbie outfit which is what I'm kind of wearing now I really wanted to have the original bathing suit like that design and Zara recently dropped a Barbie collab. I signed up for the emails to let me know when it released and everything. They did not email me letting me know that the collection released. So I went to the website, tried to get the bathing suit, sold out. That thing must have sold out in a couple of hours. So I was like, mm, I gotta come up with something else. And these are all the other outfits that I wore. I made these little reminders for me for each outfit and hairstyle. It just tells me like which outfit goes with what hairstyle in the actual order that is gonna show up in the videos because sometimes I forget what I'm supposed to do when I'm filming and then I end up having to reshoot or pivot because I just did it wrong. And I did that today actually, so I'm glad I had these. I still got a lot to finish today and that's why I need to get a vlog camera because I would love for you guys to see the actual things that I'm doing because you're gonna be busy, but I don't have that yet. So I'm just gonna have to talk to you guys tomorrow and show you a little bit more of the process of the chrome breastplate that I'm making. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. So these past few weeks, I am a high key scientist with what I've been doing. I've been doing like whole experiments trying to get this breastplate right. It's all cut out and everything and it fits me really well. I made holes for straps here and I don't know if I'm gonna put straps at the top. Still trying to decide that. If I don't put straps there, this will kind of be hanging forward a little bit with a little gap. I don't know if that bothers me or not. Although time consuming, shaping the breastplate was the easiest part. What I've been struggling with is trying to get this chrome effect. And I think I finally figured it out. You have to work on something that's like a mirror-like reflection. Because I've seen a couple of women, very few actually, I've seen very few people actually achieve the chrome breastplate look at home. But none of them share how they did it. Like nobody wants to share how they did it. I now know that they were just buying mannequin torsos that already had the chrome finish and cutting them, which is probably a lot easier. Every single one that I've been painting, whether I add a black base coat or I just spray the color straight onto the mannequin, it comes out like this, which is fine. This one, once it fully dries, I'm just gonna have to take a small thin piece of cloth and lightly buff it. But you can kind of already see even past the 
dustiness of the paint that it's reflective as you can kind of see the reflection of the camera but on this there's no reflection you can just see the light kind of shining off of it what's actually been helping me is watching cosplayers in their youtube channels and people who do little hobbies their videos have been so helpful with me figuring this out and even most of them still haven't figured it out because it's such a process because of the application process that i did i'm not even sure if it's gonna work i'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow hopefully i'll have more updates on all of this like i don't know if it's gonna be finished in this vlog you know what it's gonna be even if i have to make this vlog in two weeks i'm gonna finish that breastplate it's been some days since i last talked to y'all because i have been so engulfed in trying to get this breastplate right we're making progress and it looks so good let me show y'all i did the resin I had to do the resin twice. The first time I did it, there were so many dips because I just, I didn't do my research and I didn't use enough. Like I was painting it on in little thin pieces. And so there just wasn't enough resin for it to spread across the entire chest plate. The resin like tried to stretch on its own and it created all these ugly dips. I just, I didn't like it. So I redid it. Oh, look at it. You can actually see reflections in it. Ooh, don't drop it. <laughs> Honestly, I could have stopped right there, but I really want that chrome effect. So we're not done yet, but we're almost done. And uh, once I'm finished with that, I can focus on my hair and like all the other parts of getting ready for this concert because I have been waiting for this day since February. And now we are two weeks away from the concert. Yes! 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 Okay, girl. Hey, y'all. I'm just coming back from the gym, and man, I'm wondering when is this ever gonna get easier? I've been working out at a really weird time, but it works for me because everyone's always in there early in the morning because they're going for work in the evening. So I go anytime that are not those times so last time i talked to y'all i told y'all that i will update you with the breastplate i'm gonna take a shower and then i'll come back and show you guys how it's looking but i've had to go through so many steps to finish this i finally got it to the reflective chrome finish it looked perfect but with chrome spray paints if you put a top coat over it it ruins the mirror finish but if you like bump into anything or scratch the surface it ruins the paint as well so I just had to sacrifice that mirror reflection. I put a protective coat over it and I'm just letting it dry now. I wanted to get the color perfect and I went through so much trial and error trying to get the color that I wanted because I don't want dull gray. Like I want shiny and I want it reflective. I don't know if I'm going to get that now but it is what it is and yeah. And also, I'm now finding out that all the inspo that I saw from people getting the chrome breastplates all they did was purchase chrome mannequins. But at the same time, the chrome mannequins are really hard to find. So if you can find the chrome mannequin, it seems like people in the UK are finding the chrome mannequin so much easier than over here because I could not find a chrome mannequin online anywhere, especially for a reasonable price because mannequins are only like 10, $20. I got my black mannequin that I use for the breastplate for $10. So I was not trying to spend some crazy amount for plastic. So yeah. This is how it looks so far. Or this is how it looks. You know what I mean? Is I am such a perfectionist and there are little streaks in the breastplate. You probably can't even see it on camera. Can you see it there like that? And I kind of want to go over it with another thin coat to see if I can get rid of the streaks. Although you really can't tell anyways. But yeah, I got these cute workout sets from Amazon. I had the blue one on earlier. And I also got it in like this sandy tan color. It's like a de or desert tan. They look so good on. I also got this jumpsuit type thing, but it was really cheap. So I'm wondering if I should just keep it and just let it be what it is. But it came with snags in the fabric. You can see it more when it's on, but I don't like that. And then it has 
all these snags at the bottom. Like there's a bunch of snags that look like scratches. I'm still gonna wear it. And I filmed a try on haul with these items earlier today. And I was gonna link them in my Amazon storefront, but I'm not putting that green one there. I just can't add that because I don't even like how it has those little snags on it. And I don't see myself purchasing it again. But these sets, these workout sets, I'm gonna get every color. I'm like five, Four. Because I have PCOS, my weight fluctuates a lot between 130 and 140 pounds, and I usually wear a small. I got this in a medium, and it fits perfectly because from what I was reading, the smalls are just way too tight. If you usually wear an extra small, you should probably get that in a small. If you usually wear a medium, you should probably get it in a large. Didn't have any issues with it feeling too tight around my legs because I do have pretty muscular legs, and it fits comfortably. I also got this really cute pair of shoes when I was in San Diego. I'm gonna show you guys probably tomorrow. In fact, I'm probably gonna do like a little try on haul in this vlog because I've been purchasing little things every month and I haven't shared it with you guys. I haven't filmed since June, but I actually filmed that video in like early May. So I technically haven't filmed anything for YouTube since May before my birthday because I turned 27. Two months is a long time for me to go without posting a YouTube video. I usually try to post at least three times a month. We're gonna get back in there and I don't know how this vlog is gonna be. I don't know what it's looking like. I'm just getting there, you know? I really wish I had a vlog camera because I'll be vlogging like all next week. I have the 12 Pro and I've dropped her so many times that it has cracks all underneath this phone case and there's cracks on the front of the screen and it's time for me to upgrade. So I'm probably gonna upgrade my phone <laughs> before the concert just so I can get good videos. I'll catch y'all tomorrow with try on and I'm probably gonna try on my breastplate because I haven't tried it on since I added the paint and the straps and everything. It's storming outside, so it's a little dark in my apartment, but I still wanted to film everything. I tried on the breastplate. It came out so much better than I was expecting. I was really nervous. Like there's a few things that I need to clean up. Like I'm gonna sand this area down a little bit. I'm gonna adjust my strap. I'm gonna adjust the neck a little bit. I feel like this is really good for my first time and it's still kind of reflective. If I place objects in the breastplate, you can see its reflection and that's what I really wanted. You look good! Right. You look good! I'm also gonna try on some shoes and clothes that I got and anything that is still available, I'll link it down in the bio. I've already worn these two pieces separately from the same place. I got both of these from Aritzia. I would like to get some more of their lounge clothes. Like I really like these shorts and this tank top is so my style, it's really simple. But I like the way that it crosses. This dress is from Amazon. And when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, I gotta have this. It's really cute, it's comfy. Working from home, it's so easy for me to pull out a t-shirt from when I was in high school and some raggedy shorts and go out like that. And I just don't wanna do that anymore. I wanna feel good not only when I leave the house, but around the house as well. So if I have to leave out the house and I'm in my lounge clothes, I still look decent, you know, it just makes me feel good. Apparently this is the Skims dupe dress on Amazon. Everything just fits the body so well. I see through at all. It's a very, very good, it's a very good material. The dress does kind of drag the floor, so I could just pull it up like this if I want. I feel like this dress is long enough to where you can wear it whether you're tall or short. I also got this rumper slash jumpsuit in black and white. I can wear this at any time of the year because y'all know it's really hot in Florida. So I can just wear it like this in the summertime and maybe tie a jacket around my waist if I want to dress it up a little bit and just wear some sneakers. And in the fall and winter, I can just throw on like a, what you call it? A button down or a jean jacket or like throw a sweater over it. And I think it would be pretty cute. I like the way all this stuff fits. Like it's not too tight, but it does hug your body. I got these new balances when I was in San Diego and I just had to get them because I love tennis shoes that are this color. And I've wanted the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffles for years, but I don't wanna pay that price that they're selling them for. And these are like the exact same color as that shoe. It's just a different style. I got these cowgirl boots. 
These are the shoes that I originally thought that I was going to wear to the concert. They were originally $120. I got them for $40. And I don't know where I'm going to wear these boots, but I'm going to wear them somewhere because they're so cute. It has this very shiny material that kind of mimics rhinestone, but I don't think it is. It'd be like something really cute to wear out at night. These are the shoes that I'll probably be wearing to the concert. I know I'm wearing these in August, but trust the process it goes with the entire outfit they're so cute i also got them in white even though i'm wearing them to the concert i'm planning on these being a fall slash winter shoe anyways i personally like to buy certain clothes and shoes out of season because it's so much cheaper these boots were 30 dollars on sale they were originally over hundred dollars i don't know if this website is going to do this but from what i usually see in the summertime they'll make out of season items dirt cheap and then just raise the price right back up come fall. I'm gonna show you guys a pair of shoes that are supposed to be over the knee boots, but they will not go past my calf. It was just a waste of purchase. And when I reached out to them, uh, who is it, Public Desire, they pretty much just told me that my legs are too big and that other people who buy the shoes never have issues with it, which I know that's a lie, but whatever. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I had to get myself together because in the middle of me filming my little try-on haul, I just kind of found out a lot of unfortunate news. Um, if you guys didn't know, I was a school teacher for about four years. I've always taught in high needs areas, meaning that the children in those neighborhoods just didn't have a lot of the same opportunities that a lot of other kids had. It also meant that they might be surrounded by things in their environment that could really affect their futures and not always in the best way. None of the kids that I've ever taught are even old enough to be ad adults yet, hearing that I've lost students already, two former students in the past couple of weeks. Gun violence is really um, 